crash course, same as ever. I'm taking a look at some of your crashes and we get loads of them. Lots of people falling off bikes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I fall off a bike quite a lot, but there's lots of people falling off bikes around the world. Anyway, I'll check them out, hopefully give you some tips, take a look at the videos, have a look in slow-mo, see why you're all doing this. Oh. Then try and help you out to stop you from crashing. First one is a gnarly one. This is from Dara riding Ticknock uh, in the Dublin mountains, hitting this drop off, check it out. Oosh, I can sense the windingness from here. You know when you, hit, you get winded, you can't breathe. Um, yeah, gnarly. Um, I guess there's a couple of things here. Um, Dara actually says the running is really bad. So I would say like if you go a little bit faster, there's much less risk of your front wheel dropping. But also, you can see there's a landing that you kind of don't quite get to. Obviously the front wheel drops super hard. If you'd have got another foot, then you would have landed into that. I reckon you'd have got away with it. But Dara's saying that the, the run-in is hard, so maybe you can't. Sometimes, you know, if there's a rooty corner or something, it's difficult and you're gonna have to get a really good manual because it's a big drop-off. You're gonna have to get a decent manual so the front wheel doesn't drop, which is hard. You know, it's proper risky stuff if you get the timing wrong, if you're too early, if you don't manual enough, the front wheel's gonna drop. Practice the manual, practice getting a bit more speed. Maybe you need to get a bit better at doing whatever it is before that, but it's hard to say, that's probably pretty gnarly. So yeah, tough like Dara, that's a gnarly crash. Over to Jack riding a Jamis Parker. This is my friend's backyard where we make jumps. Uh, my friend sending a whip and it goes bad. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> whipping to the flat, nose dived in. Yeah, it's probably always gonna go bad. Uh, but that's actually, a pretty good whip, you know, learning to whip, I always say, say try on a hip. So you build a landing where it's a different angle to the takeoff. So you can throw it sideways and land sideways. That's kind of the, the name of the game with hips. With this, it's kind of the, the takeoff's much taller than the landing as well. So you're gonna land hard anyway. And if you overshoot to a front wheel sideways, this is probably gonna happen quite a lot of time. But it's pretty good effort. I reckon send that to a different jump, like I say, a, a hip and you'd get it. And then it's just a case of getting the feel of pulling it back. So that's the hardest part with whips is it should feel natural where you kind of whip it out, but, but that doesn't then feel natural. It feels like, oh, you need to do something like the opposite to bring it back. And that's when, so you're, you're kind of off balance and then to get your balance back, you've got to pull it back. That does take practice, but a hip, do it a bit further and then you'll get that feel for the thing of it being unnatural, being that far out and that you've just got to pull it back. But nice one. Over to Hungary, this is in Dark Valley uh, and Balasks, I'm gonna say the neighbors have probably pronounced that wrong. Jumps, everyone crashes with jumps. It's like the most common thing by far that we get set. Uh, it's dangerous, be careful out there. Uh, this one, I guess you can see, oh, sorry, I don't know the guy's name, but he's pedaling in. It's kind of, t the, the thing that goes wrong here is he's kind of not going fast enough. If it's a gap jump, i.e. If, if you land in the middle, it's going to be heavy. Then if you don't get the kind of shape of the jump right as well, and you come up short, then it's going to go wrong big time, which is kind of what happens here. So the guy land, he's kind of sideways. If you go back to take off, takes off a bit sideways. I talk about that loads, people pull it on the take off. But then he also lands heavy in the middle and boom, and then he crashes into that massive log pile. That's dodgy. I've heard some horror stories of people crashing into log piles and sticks, not good. So I would say go to a smaller jump, get it nailed. And then if you want to do this jump, you're just gonna to have to go faster. Uh, it would be much safer to go faster this jump, clear it and you're gonna land much smoother and probably then avoid that log pile, even if you get it wrong, but yeah. Gnarly, but hopefully you got away with it. Learn the basics, then go and hit big jumps. Last but not least, definitely not least, this is my favorite one this week. Uh, this is Sam sent this in of uh, his friend trying to ride a jump that he built during lockdown. Kind of same as the one we just seen uh, where, <laughs> oosh, scorpion face grind. Has anyone ever done that? And then the bike hit him in the back of the head? Maybe. Uh, styles out, yeah, I think the bike has more style than the guy who's laying on his face. Kind of the same as the other one though, uh, didn't go quick enough over the jump, it's a gap jump, front wheel hits side, boom, game over. I like it though, hopefully he's all right. Then I wouldn't like it quite so much. Scorpion face grind, bike on the back of the head, good style. Um, avoid riding into holes, then that won't happen. 
Thanks for sending the videos in. As ever, use our uploader. You can get involved with loads of GMBN stuff to get involved with the Dirt Shed Show. Send us your fails. You send us your sends. Uh, bike vault stuff, uh, link is down below. And I'll be back in a few weeks for another crash course. Thanks very much.